Couple of riders just calling for the weight. Now there's the all clear. They sent on their way from the 1200 meter marker. The favourite, Flamenca Dancer, is second lot there near the rail with the white cap. Just got a couple of niggles to stay in touch, but fl the first one out, Symphony in seven. Kirari stars right there. Flo Joyner's got the white nose band on the outside. Flamenco dancers near the rail. Harmonia's in the yellow. Tomas is in the black on the outside of runners. Then came Aim for the Stars. Viva La Bleu is racing about five lengths off the lead at this stage. Then comes Daydream Believer. Further back in the runners, cause and effect. Then comes Breaking Barriers. Then Queen of Pace. And behind that, Black Southeaster. And Press My Buttons, the trailer. Top of the lane and Symphony in seven brings them in. On the outside, Flo Joyner. Flamenco dancers going for a split on the inside. Daydream Believers towards the outside and Tommaso still right there. Coming to the last 250. Daydream Believer down the inside. Flamenco dancer Tommaso running on his cause and effect. Daydream Believer they hit the front from Flamenco dancer over the last hundred and cause and effects coming late. Cause and effect got them all. Fighting back for six and was Flamenco Dance and Daydream Believer. So Daydream Believer tackles flamenco dancer meanwhile cause and effect was wearing them down all the time and here's number eight cause and effect got niggled coming into the straight but ends up winning going away flamenco dancer your favorite stays on for second position beaten that half length third place daydream believer that fourth position could have gone to breaking barriers from tomaso further back was symphony in seven so breaking barriers number seven would get fourth in Tommaso, further back Symphony in seven, Viva La Bleu, and then came Press My Button and Black South Easter with Aim for the Stars. So your winner is obscured, it's two off the right hand side, now the extreme right hand side with the white blaze. At this stage the white cap of Flamenco Dancer and Daydream Believer still green with the yellow cap and here's cause and effect coming good on the outside and the last three or four jumps cause and effect goes on to win stick gets put down by Stuart randolph and is victorious the water winter until it shows up number eight at 590 and 210 toad favorite number nine back to the studio well cause and effect is captain for trainer shane humby and uh Stuart Randolph doing duty on this daughter of water winter. Uh, Mr. Mathesay, the uh, owner, and I see Mr. T.D. Andrews, uh, the breeder, and she's come through to win well. This will be my first interview with Shane since he's relocated to KZN. Not that he hasn't had a winner, but uh, nice catching up, uh, Shane. And uh, how's things at Summerfeld? Uh, Ashburton, you mean, DZ? Oh, you're at Ashburton. I've got to deal with this circuit every day. How's things at Ashburton? Yeah, it's good. It's fine. It's no problem. And the horses, uh, you know, I know that you're building your string as well. Uh, not really. I'm very happy with what we've got there. Um, but, uh, yeah, it's been a bit tough early on. But the horses are just starting to acclimatize and get ready for them now. You're coming from the sales? How was the sales in Cape Town? T tough. <laughs> it's Is it? Very, very tough, yeah. But, you know, congratulations to CTS. And, and I'm sure there's a lot of people very happy down there today. So if you can just step into the office, they want to have a look at the, the, the background, the board, of obviously our sponsors. But uh, coming back to this horse, uh, it was just a draw. Um, yeah, decent and probably the six, you know. Um, she traveled on the six and was a little bit unlucky not to win that day. Um, but in the back of my mind, I always knew that she's looking for 14 or, and a, probably a mile even. Um, and if you watch the race, you'll see Stewie to scrub her. He was scrubbing, turning into the straight. She made up a lot of ground, so very meritorious win. You got many of these water winters? Yes, I have. I've got a few, and uh, I like every single one. I'm a big fan, big fan. Anything else from your side later on? No, no, that's me. I'm done. Well, 100% strike rate. That's the way you like to keep it. <laughs> Thanks, Dees. Thank you. Well done, Shane Humby. Good luck to Rod in Cape Town. Well done, Rod.
Well done to Rod. Well done to Shane. Let's get the gentleman that got the job done. Great ride, Stu. Great ride because uh, you have to judge it. Uh, you know, those horses, they seem to skip at the top of the straight. Yeah, uh, she wasn't really traveling with me. She dropped a bit going, going through about the 800. Had to chase after her. But I must say, you know, she really quickened up nicely. It was a big thank you to Shane and his team. And uh, yeah, lovely parade. And Shane's done an excellent job. As you say, he's, he's an amazing trainer. He's, he doesn't have many runners, but look at his strike rate. It just speaks for itself. So every time I get a ride from him, I know I've got a chance. He mentioned uh, 1,200 on the sharp side uh, for this horse. Are you in agreement? Yeah, you know, the way she drops a bit. She did with last time with me um, when I ran third. She also just had to push her along, but I thought it was just through greenness. <laughs> and she ended up doing it again today. But uh, I think, you know, as she starts to step up in distance, you'll see a bit of, bit, bit, bit of her. Now, you've got some nice rides later on, Stu. I mean, anything else you can single out? Yeah, I think hard to play. Obviously, it's his next step up, you know, up the ladder. It's, he's running in the mile for the first time. It's a competitive race, so we'll have to just hopefully get a bit of luck on our side and see how he goes. What's your opinion? Now, obviously, you have to take a chance now. You know, he's done everything you've asked of him thus far. What's your opinion over the distance? He's a lovely individual. He's, the, the thing in his favour, he's very laid back, he's relaxed. So, you know, he's, he's not one of those horses where you've got to cover him up and make sure he's settled. He's actually the opposite way around. You've got to keep chasing after him. But, you know, to me, he's learning with every run and he's getting stronger and stronger, which is nice. Um, personally, I probably would have liked another run under his belt before getting there. But, you know, once you start taking on into the features, but, you know, we've got to take our chances. He's drawn four, he's come along nicely in his work. We just, yeah, as I said earlier, just nick on our side and hopefully he can pull it off. Stu, so I must say that you're striding out beautifully these days. <laughs> yeah, I had my CV joints changed. Uh, <laughs> sure. No, I must say no, it, it was, um, had, the, had to have the operation done and and uh, my surgeon, John Deby and Gateway, he, yeah, did an amazing job. And I must say, it's touch wood, it's, it's been fantastic. It's, Has that impacted anything in, with your air miles? Uh, just when I go through metal detectors, it does really <laughs> sure, sure. cause a bit of alarm. So it, yeah. uh, no, look, it's... Pain-wise, it's it's brilliant. It's it's just done a complete, you know, 180. It's 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 amazing. I just I, there's not enough words to say. I feel, um, but yeah, weight-wise, it's it's a little bit more heavier. So the the bits of metal they've put in, but you know, it's worked out nicely. So as long as the pain's gone, now that's all I'm I'm happy for. Well, it's always nice catching up. Stu, great ride on this one, and all the best for the rest of the afternoon. Thanks, Steve. Thanks very much. And again, thanks to Shane and his team. Uh, no, well, job job well done, I should say. Fantastic. Well-timed ride here by uh, Stuart Randolph on number eight. Cause and effect from the Shane Humby Yard. That's stable at Ashburton. Eight, four, eight, nine, four and seven. That's the way they cross the line. Race number two. Up next, place accumulator time, 13.25, 25 past one. Now there's the all clear, they 